All right, I also had a request for the extension questions on the limiting reactant Pogel. Um, so it says, consider the synthesis of water as shown in the model. So that means we're using the same reaction. This time the container is filled with 10 grams of H2 and five grams of O2. So we have H2 and O2 making water. Um, so which one reactant is limiting? So always limiting and excess refer to reactants, never products. Um, and so the, the provided amounts are in grams and we're only allowed to put moles in our BCA table. So what do I need to do? I need to use mole island and go from grams to mole. And that's, mole island tells me that if I take the mass and I divide it by the molar mass, that will give me my moles. So I took 10 grams of H2 divided by the molar mass of H2, so two times the mass of hydrogen, that gave me five moles and that's my starting amount. Then I take my five grams of O2, divide it by the molar mass of O2, which is two times 16, um, and that gave me 0.156 moles as my starting amount of oxygen. So now that we're in moles, we can actually do our BCA table. I don't have any of my hydrogen or of my water of my H2O to start. So I have this before and this before, right? Like when you take the ingredients out of the, your pantry before you start baking, that's what we have to start, but no cookies yet. So now we do our change. Well, this is gonna be used up, so minus two times X, be used up minus one times X, and this will be produced, so plus two times X. And those numbers in front of X come from the coefficients. So now I need to find X, and that's what I'm doing down here in blue. So I take five moles divided by two, and that gives me 2.5. I take one point, or excuse me, 0.156 divided by one, and that gives me 0.156, and I compare those. The smaller one is my X, which means my superstar is the, or is the chemical that gave me that X. So X will be 0.156, and that's for all of the X values, because it's all about the superstar. So now we do our last step, which is the easiest one. We take B, plus C to give us A. So five minus 0.313 gives me 4.69 moles remaining. 0.156 minus 0.156 gives me zero. Zero plus 0.313 gives me 0.313. This first question says, what was my limiting reactant? So which one was my superstar? Which one ran out with none left over, right? We could not make any more H2O right now because we have zero moles of O left over. So oxygen is my limiting. What is the mass of water that can be produced? Well, here's how many moles of water can be produced. Maybe I'll shake up my color. That's how many moles of water can be produced, but I want to know the mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that number down here and we just have to do a quick little hop over from Mole Island now to grams, to mass island. So to do that, we take moles times the molar mass. Well, what is, maybe I can zoom for us, what is the molar mass of H2O? Well, two H's plus one O gives me the molar mass of H2O, 18.02. So I'm gonna take 0.313 times 18.02. That tells me we should, in theory, theoretically, produce 5.634 grams of H2O if I mix 10 grams of hydrogen and five grams of oxygen. In theory, I should make this much. Notice when I found molar mass, I did not care about that two in front. That was not helpful. All I cared about was the formula for H2O. When we learned how to do molar mass, you did not even know how to balance equations yet. So don't use that big two to find molar mass, just the little two after the hydrogen, H2O for the molar mass. And then which reactant is excess? So now I'm talking about my excess re reactant, this guy, 4.69 moles of H2, and how much remains? So I need to go from moles to mass of H2. So 4.69 moles of H2 times the molar mass of H2, which is 2.02, .02, gives me how much extra remains that did not react. So that's the leftovers. Hopefully that was helpful for the extension.